channel i hope you're all good so we have finally finished our house renovation project the old office i cannot believe that it's finally done if you haven't seen the final house tour then definitely make sure you check it out i'll leave it linked in the description bar down below but today i'm going to talk about where we got everything from so i get a lot of questions about like where's this from where's the best place to get furniture etc and the truth is we buy all our stuff from like literally here there and everywhere so i thought i'd just make this video letting you guys know where we get all of the stuff from and also give any little tips and tricks i have for buying stuff when you are a developer so when it comes to purchasing we tend to have a general rule of if we can't see it we don't buy it so if something's not going to affect the aesthetic of a room then we don't buy it our builder will buy it for us however because of covid and the lockdown situation it would have taken our builder too much time to go out and buy all of these things because if you imagine like we had queues and everything like that and then as well the renovation project did get pushed back a little bit at the start of lockdown because we weren't sure what was going on so in the end it made sense for us to go and buy some of the building and the plumbing materials because it was just going to take too much time away from our builder so yeah we also brought things that were really hard to get hold of so we really struggled to get hold of plaster during the lockdown situation which i'll talk a little bit more about that later but yeah getting plaster was such a nightmare so in the morning and things like that we spend a lot of time driving around to get plaster and other materials and little bits and bobs and then for any of the other plumbing fittings we go to places like city plumbing tool station or like screw fix so like places like that basically so it is actually really cool because a lot of these like building merchant type places will let you open like a trade account as a property developer which means you can get money off which we love that so for wix you can sign up to a wix trade pro account which means that you get 10 percent off everything and sometimes they have like special offers as well for people who have a trade account a lot of the wick stores also open at seven in the morning which is super convenient because you can buy the materials before people get on site and things like that so yeah that really helped us out then you've also got Howden's and their discount really varies and it depends what kind of offers they've got on your builder might be able to get you a better discount i think with Howden's it kind of depends on like the branch you go to how long you've been a member how well you know them there it's kind of one of them places so yeah and then with b and q you can get five percent off normally but then in one month if you spend a thousand pounds you can then get ten percent off for the next three months so yeah that's kind of how their discount scheme works and this actually worked really well for us because we ended up getting all of our tiles from b and q so on the tiles at the time they were actually doing four for free which is kind of like 25 percent off and then we also managed to get our 10 percent off as well and i think altogether it worked out to like just over six pounds something a square meter so yeah that discount and that offer definitely really helped us out when it came to purchasing the tiles also just to mention none of this is like sponsored or anything this is just literally what we went through we purchased everything with our own money and everything so yeah and then there is also screw fix so if you want to get a discount you do have to be a trade and then if there's any other retailers there's no harm in just ringing them up and seeing if they do any sort of trade discount or anything like that if you don't ask you don't get so yeah it's definitely worth ringing and asking to see if they do anything right so the impact of covid i know you're probably all sick of people talking about covid but i feel like i've got to bring it up just so you know what we went through so for the past few months there has definitely been a shortage of materials it has been an absolute pain but luckily when lockdown was kind of like on the cards and people were like oh we're gonna go into lockdown we actually decided to purchase quite a lot of materials and things like that ahead of time because obviously the last thing we would have wanted was to be held up because we didn't have the materials and things like that so we did order quite a bit ahead of time but i mean that point in the year was absolutely crazy because we just didn't know what was going on at all but i'm so glad that we did order a lot of the stuff ahead of time because that really saved us with a lot of things so the biggest pain that we had in terms of getting materials was getting plaster so <laughs> So basically with the plaster, what had happened was they stopped manufacturing the plaster. So all of the plaster that was in the stores was obviously gonna be like the last of the plaster for a while. So what people were doing, like the absolute cheek of people, they would buy the plaster from like Wix or wherever for like seven pound a bag and then put it on eBay for 30 pounds. 30 pounds like the absolute cheek of some people so we just could not get hold of plaster obviously it was on ebay but were we going to be paying 30 pounds when we could have paid seven no so luckily we already had some plaster but then we had to wait for them to start like manufacturing it again and like get the whole process going but obviously when it was coming into the stores the plaster would just be gone done out within like literally five minutes it was 
Ugh, just even thinking about it now, I'm just like, what the hell, man? So yeah, literally, that was such a pain. So what we basically ended up doing was getting quite pally pally with one of the managers at Wix, and she was like, okay, I can see that you are actually a genuine customer. You're not just gonna go and put this plaster on eBay or anything like that. Like, you genuinely need it for a project. So when the plaster would be getting delivered, she'd literally just call us and be like, we're getting the plaster in. And then we'd literally go and drive down, pick it up, put it in the boot and yeah. But it was literally such a pain because we were only allowed to buy like five bags at a time. So basically what we'd do is like, mom would go in first and buy five bags and then I'd just have to go in after him and buy like another five bags as if we weren't together. So yeah, that was such a pain, but yeah. So yeah, I literally can't even believe the absolute drama that plaster caused like during the lockdown situation. It was just so crazy. I feel like plaster was kind of like toilet roll but property developer edition like no one could flip and get hold of it so yeah there was also a longer lead time on furniture so we spent a lot more time working out like who's got things in stock when is it going to come things like that because obviously deliveries were an absolute madness but yeah you have to imagine in normal times things like beds so if there's any like big furniture like that unless they've got it in stock it's probably going to take about four to six weeks but this time around things have been taking like eight ten twelve weeks so yeah okay so let's talk about where all of the aesthetic pieces were from i feel like this is kind of like a homeware haul but I don't actually have the stuff to show you. I'll try and insert some like clips here and there, but yeah. Okay, so let's start with the walls first. So I'm gonna start with the chalkboard wall that we had in the kitchen, and that paint was from a brand called Rustoleum. It's literally just called chalkboard paint. You can also get different types of chalkboard paint, which are magnetic as well, which is really cool, but ours isn't magnetic, it's just the normal chalkboard paint. So yeah, we literally use that paint like all over the walls, all over the skirt in, the doors and the door handles, so that that wall all just looks the same just look clean so yeah we also used the rustoleum paint for the wall lights that we sprayed black because they were originally like a rose gold color and then we sprayed them black so we used the rustoleum spray paint for that and rustoleum paint's really good it's good for painting like wood or plastic or anything like that we actually used rustoleum paint in our first renovation project where we painted the cupboards because they were originally brown and then i wanted them more like a gray so yeah rustoleum paint is so yeah, we tend to find that Homebase has the best selection of paint. Their own brand of paint is really good itself, but then obviously they do stock the other brands as well. But yeah, we just find that they've got a really good range. B&Q and Wix also have a good selection of paint as well. And we'd always check there to see if they've got any offers on. And then obviously as well, because we've got trade accounts with them, we always just check to see what the situation is because we might be able to save ourselves some money. So on the top floor of the property, the feature wall that we chose was Concrete Effects and that is literally just Concrete Effect paint from the brand Craig and Rose. So we got it in the pale shade, but they do two others. They've got one that is really, really dark. It looks kind of like nearly black and then they've got one that kind of sits in the middle. But yeah, I think our decorator just used like a trowel as well to kind of get more of a concrete effect. But yeah, Craig and Rose as a brand do some really interesting paints, which would be so great for feature walls like they've got this rose gold one which just looks incredible i probably would never do it myself but it does look literally incredible i think they've even got like a marble spray paint and things like that they've got loads of different paints so defo check them out if you ever need a feature wall or anything like that and you just want to use paint like i'll definitely be going to craig and rose next time and then we also use brick slips on the other two floors so on the middle floor we use red brick slips and they were in the style kingsbury red and yeah they just look so Good, I literally love them, but they've got so many different styles on their website. Okay, so I didn't even mention here that the brick slips were actually from a company called Coochie Designs. And then in the bottom floor and in the kitchen, we used white brick slips and the brick slip was called Rustic White and it was literally rustic, like they looked... Is it shady to say they look dirty? They did look dirty, they just looked rustic, you know, as the name like suggests. <laughs> so we did end up painting those white and I'm so glad that we ended up painting them white. We were actually gonna leave one of them just like the rustic thing. We we're gonna leave it rustic, but then we were like, no, we need to paint them all white. And it did literally just like brighten up the room. It just looks so much cleaner, so fresh. Yeah, 100% painting them was the best decision ever. We were actually so torn whether to even paint them or not. Like I even did like an Instagram poll to see what people thought. So I'll leave the results of those here. So I did one on LCM Home and then one on my own Instagram, so yeah. With the brick slips, because we ordered in volume, they did give us a discount. So we ordered about 150 square meters worth of brick slips. So they did 
get us a discount but we did have to call them and then see if they could do anything with it do you know what i mean like if you just order them online then obviously they're not going to give you a discount but if you call them up and then see what they say then they might be able to give you some money off but yeah it was really interesting actually because i did another instagram poll where i was like which feature wall do you prefer and most people were saying the concrete effect which it did surprise me i thought people were going to say like the brick slips were their favorite so i think it was like concrete effect was first then white brick slips and red brick slips and i was like oh okay like I didn't realise that people would like the concrete effect that much, but then the concrete effect is also my favourite of the feature walls, but yeah. So in terms of the main flooring that we use pretty much throughout the whole of the property was from a company called wood to You, and they're based in Rugby, so kind of local to us kind of. And we went for the chrono laminate, we used this in our first renovation project and we just really liked it, so we thought why not use it again? I think this shade is a little bit darker than the one we used before, but yeah, it's really good quality flooring, so yeah. We also used the chrono underlay as well because we wanted something that was gonna be really good for the soundproofing and also it was on offer, so we love that. But we checked with the sound engineer guy and he said that that was a really good underlay to use and we did pass our soundproofing test, so it must be good. But yeah, we were just worried that the laminate floor would be noisy, but honestly, it's all fine. And then we got different floor tiles in the main kitchen area because our builder said that the flooring wasn't gonna be hard wearing enough for a kitchen area, so we ended up getting tiles from B&Q. And we also always go for bigger tiles because they're more time effective to lay. Generally, tilers do bring their own stuff, but we did purchase the adhesive and the grout. Because we brought it from B&Q and Top Tiles, we could use our discounts with it, so it just made sense for us to buy it. So for the appliances and the TV, we literally just chose the spec that we wanted and then looked for the offers. So this time we went to appliances direct for the kitchen stuff and we also went to AO which is appliances online and it's also really good with AO because you can also collect boots points so they were doing like I think it was like a triple points offer or something like that which I mean who doesn't love collecting boots points like is that not just the like most rewarding thing ever so yeah that was really good and I guess it's kind of like getting cash back in a way because we can now go and spend the money in boots. So in terms of lighting we went to comet lighting for the wall lights and also for the bathroom spotlights and then we also got a few bits and bobs from iconic lights and then we also got this like balloon caged like light i'll insert a picture or a video of it we got that as well from a company called industville and with this, like, once we decided that we wanted to do an industrial theme, we definitely knew that we wanted that light in the property. And you can kind of find like dupes and other replicas and things like that, but we were finding that they were a lot more smaller and they just weren't as good as the original, do you know what I mean? So, so yeah, we ended up just going with the original Brooklyn balloon cage light. And also in Dustville, we're doing like a 15% sign up discount, so we love that. So for the beds, we got five Ottoman beds from the Oak Bed Store. Three of them were normal doubles, and then two of them were smaller doubles. For the rooms that were slightly smaller, even though they are still double rooms, we just wanted to get a small double bed because we just wanted the room to feel a bit more spacious. We didn't want it to feel cramped, and we didn't want it to just be like the bed is taking up like a lot of the space kind of thing. So yeah, we just went for small doubles. But yeah, the Oak Bed Store beds are just a really nice quality. They're just like a nice solid oak bed, so we love that. And then the three other beds that we got are like an oak effect and we got them from full range furniture and in terms of the bed storage they have got drawers on either side but yeah we just wanted to try out beds that had drawers on either side and then the tenants can let us know how they get on with it if they like it if they would have preferred an ottoman bed etc so what we tended to find when we were shopping around is that things like beds desks and tables and things like that we kind of found that they were just coming from one manufacturer and then they just like pass it on through the retailers apart from like obviously the independent stores like the oak bed store and what you'll find is some of the manufacturers will sell to you direct if you're buying in enough volume so obviously we were shopping for eight bedrooms which is obviously a decent amount so we did try and go to the manufacturer directly and they would have sold to us but then we found that they didn't actually have the stock like only the retailers had the stock so yeah so most of our like soft furnishings so like blankets throws cushions all of that most of that was from Denelm. There was a few bits from Ikea. And then we also ended up getting the curtains and like the voile for the curtains. We ended up getting that from Denelm as well. Denelm has come in handy this time. Like I didn't expect it, but Denelm did good. I did actually do like a haul on my channel. So be sure to check it out. So the fitted wardrobes. So the brown wardrobe doors were mostly from Howden's, but if we had any issues with sizing, so if they needed to be wider, if they needed to be like taller or anything like that, then we get them from a brand called Space Pro and they sell this in B&Q. Then 
we also got two IKEA Pax wardrobes in the two downstairs bedroom and they have more of like an industrial kind of like grid look vibe but we had to go for the packs because of the height of the ceiling so yeah so yeah I think it's quite cool because I feel like both of the wardrobes fit with the theme so I kind of feel like the brown wardrobes that kind of ties in with like the bed and the ladder desk and things like that but then in the downstairs bedrooms with the ikea packs it does still have like the industrial grid vibe on it which i just think looks so so good so yeah i'm glad that both wardrobes worked really well so the bathrooms this was all from an online supplier called qs supplier the toilet and the basin were all from a brand called rack and they do really good high quality ceramics so we knew that we definitely wanted to go with them once we found a supplier that could supply racks we just gave them a call over the phone and said hello we've got eight bathrooms that we need fit in can you help us out etc so the ladder desk I had a lot of questions on the ladder desk you can literally get these from anywhere if you just type in the Copenhagen Morby Lane ladder desk then it should come up we personally got asked from a company called Mattress Man, but you can literally get them anywhere. So just Google, check it out. I will say though, with the ladder desk, because it's like such a big piece, it has to really fit in with your theme. Otherwise it's just gonna look a little bit out of place. So the ladder desk was really in the same style as the beds. So it kind of like all went really well together. So yeah, but because it's such a big piece, obviously you don't want it to like not fit with anything and like look out of place or anything like that. So yeah. In our first renovation project, we actually had like a gray ladder desk and we just got that from Amazon. On. so yeah you can find ladder desks anywhere and then the kitchen we got that from Howden's and that kitchen is beautiful when I saw it on the pictures online I was just like that is the kitchen it's just literally stunning and like even being with it in person and like feeling the cabinets and everything that kitchen is absolutely beautiful I literally love it and I love the worktop as well that we've got I just think it's all it's all so good <laughs> So the style of kitchen was the Greenwich Supermat in charcoal and it just looks so beautiful. But when you're going to buy it, they're gonna ask you like loads of different things like, do you want it handleless? Do you want it magnetic? Do you want all of this and all of that? But yeah, it was actually really cool because our builder actually managed to improve on the layout that Howden's had sent to us and managed to like squeeze in another cupboard where we've got like a row of cupboards and he managed to squeeze another one in, which was just amazing. I feel like when you've got a good carpenter then they are able to do things like that and be a bit more like creative with the layout so yeah he's definitely really helped us out so so much and as well for our first renovation project we literally just remodeled the kitchen so he was just able to kind of like move things around and like create a whole like breakfast bar and things like that so yeah if you've got a good carpenter then it might mean you don't need to get like a whole new kitchen every time so yeah also for things like the kitchen stalls and the office chairs that are in the bedrooms we got them from a company called cult furniture their furniture is pretty cool and I actually do really like their site so I'm sure we'll be shopping there in the future and then the sliding door mechanism again I've got so many questions about this so literally it was just on like a rail that we got from Amazon and then our builder put that on and then we got the doors from Howden's I can't remember what they were called but I think the doors were literally like 22 pound I'll try and insert like a picture of it and like leave the name and things like that so yeah, we just got that from Howden. And then in the property, we painted all of the doors black. So we used the home base black satin paint, which just looked incredible on all of the doors. It literally just looked so, so good. So yeah. And then we do also buy our tenants things like pots and pans, plates, cutlery. We get them all like a little set of utensils, like a little utensil pot holder and things like that. And for little bits and bobs like that, we just get it from like either Ikea or Tesco, well, like a mixture of both. So yeah. So guys, I feel like that is pretty much everything. If it's anything that I've missed off, then make sure you comment it down below and I'll let you know where it was from. But hopefully that's helped you guys out in understanding like where we buy things from, how we source things and things like that. I will be doing more videos around the renovation. So I'm gonna talk about the figures and then all of the lessons that we learned on this project and things like that. But if there's any other videos that you want me to make, then let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, that really helped me out. But thank you so, so so much really appreciate it as always and i'll see you next time bye and then for any of like the plumbing fittings we go to places like city plumbing it's still still station there was also a longer lead time on my back